Lloyd Alexander, America's high king of fantasy. Although he would be best known for his tale of an assistant pig keeper, Lloyd Alexander's influence would spread far beyond the borders of his mythical land of Verdane. He was the first American who wrote high fantasy that the British, that could stand up against the British fantasy. He put, he sort of put America on the map more solidly in the area of high fantasy. All of the really good fantasy writers owe some kind of a debt to people like Lloyd Alexander and J.R.R. Tolkien and certainly C.S. Lewis. And in fact, that's one of the great accolades that some of the British reviewers gave Lloyd is they put him in the same class as C.S. Lewis in some of those reviews. Um, now, you, you, you have made an impact, I think, when uh, the British uh, will deign to give you that kind of credit. I think he was among the first, not the only one, who took traditional legends and wove them into novels, uh, which had some, which were certainly adventure stories. They were plot driven and they were quest novels. He established in the United States a really great foundation for the history of American fantasy and, and truly uniquely American fantasy and, and a tradition that built on other great fantasy writers um, that came after him, um, making it a part of, of who we are as an American culture. I think that his place in children's literature is firmly established. I think that he influenced a whole slew of fantasy writers. I think he wrote an Amer almost an American version of a classic kind of fantasy. I don't know if I can quantify how much influence he has. I just know when I am with authors and I say Lloyd Alexander, they all light up. Everyone's had that experience, those of us who are fortunate enough to read him as children, to, to know and fall in love in, with his stories. And knowing how influential he was to me as a writer and a reader and a person, I, I have to believe that all those other writers were as well. It's amazing how he wrote decades ago, and yet children who may not even read him now are influenced by those who read him and keep writing. So that it's, he's like a grandfather of children's literature, that his offspring just keeps growing and growing. Lloyd never quit. He had all kinds of problems, and all kinds of things kept happening to him, but he never quit. He never once failed to deliver, in spite of all his difficulties. I think that's one of the things that I always remember about him. He was very, very uh, focused, concentrated. <laughs>